Good morning to everyone. I have known someone in the seminary who always wanted to follow rules and regulations to the exact details as possible. Once we were in a computer room trying to finish our school assignment at the last minute, our director came and gave us a delicious cake while telling us not to keep it long, but to consume it right away since the expiration date was getting near. When we checked the date of expiration, true enough, it was on that day the cake would expire. We ate some while working on our papers at that night. When we finished our assignment, it was already past midnight. As we wrapped up with our works, we tried to finish the cake as well. So I offered the last piece of cake to my friend, but he refused to eat it because according to him, it was expired at midnight according to the expiration date. It was strange to see that friend enjoying the cake an hour earlier, but refused to eat it after midnight. But I admired his strict way of following rules and regulations to the exact detail as possible. I could sense that it was not due to the fear of getting poisoned, but it was more on holding his principle of what is right and wrong. During the season of Lent, I'm sure he's the kind of person who would wait till midnight on Friday to eat meat food products if we wishes to do so. These are the people who are very disciplined in every aspect of life and take everything quite seriously. With that kind of discipline, they would be able to reap a lot of benefits out of their labors in many aspects of their lives. We are almost halfway through in the season of land. I'm sure many of us are progressing in the process of disciplining ourselves in prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. By looking at the good things we have accomplished in the past three weeks, we may draw some satisfactions and inspirations to continue with the good works we have begun. We take pride of what we can accomplish in life. On the other hand, though many of us started the season of Lent with much enthusiasm and excitement, some of us are facing the reality of not able to keep the promises we made for the season of Lent. It is the fact that some of us did not even last a few days or we failed miserably in our attempts to reform our lives. One of the worst criticisms we can get from our failure is no other than from ourselves. The people around us may not know what is happening within us and may not judge and criticize us, but deep within us, we feel so much shame, frustration, and pain for not able to keep our own promises we made at the beginning of Lent. Today's gospel reading about the Samaritan woman would give us an encouragement to rise up again if ever we fell short of the expectations. The Samaritan woman was a total failure in the eyes of society, especially from a perspective of moral standing. But our Lord did not condemn her, but accepted her as she was with all her shortcomings. I'm sure the acceptance of Jesus would give the Samaritan woman to have a chance of self-reflection, as well as a spark a willingness in her to transform herself. We can see here the compassion of Jesus he has for the people, even to the extent of risking himself 
being accused of breaking rules and regulations established by society. The woman was a Samaritan, and Jesus, who was a Jew, should not engage in conversation. Secondly, she was considered immoral, married five times, and living with a man who was not her husband. Above all, Jesus was also known as a rabbi. Jesus, Jesus did not reject and condemn her, but he dialogued with her. In the end, the woman grew in her awareness of who she was and eventually led her to much needed transformation. As we celebrate this Eucharist, let us pray that we may have an honest evaluation on our Lenten observances that we may be able to draw inspiration to continue the good works that we have begun. At the same time, we may have more compassion on ourselves and others when facing failure that we may draw enough strength to begin again in the process of transforming ourselves according to the will of God.